Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the 50 release. This is the greatest 50 release ever in Madden history. We got three of the best players that we ever received all year, all on the same day. It's a crazy drop. I waited for all of them to drop. I'm going to do this video now in the morning. Get them all out to you. Now, of course, at 2, they will be dropping live in the game. But I never make that video because once you guys kind of know the players, I don't plan to open packs for them. There's really no benefit of making that actual one. So I'm going to do the reveal right now. But, guys, super excited to get into this. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the noti bell. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. And, guys, coins are at an all-time need right now. Like, you need to get these three players. The Zero Chill Masters, the Ghost of Madden, the Presence. Heading over to my reserve. Coins have never been cheaper. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Take advantage. Stock up. I know it's Christmas. It's a perfect time. Go stock up and pick up some coins and buy some cards. But moving on from that, guys. We're going to get into these players. Now, I want to go over a quick glitch from last night. So last night, there was a pack glitch. There was a few glitches last night. First, at uh, around 8.30, Game Changer packs were unlimited. I don't know if you guys heard about that. They were like unlimited. You could buy as many as you want. Which unlimited is kind of like an understatement and or an overstatement because when you say that you kind of assume like oh my god like packs are unlimited we still have to pay for them so it's like how much money do you want to spend and they're not really that great anyways but that happened and then around 8 30 well all the game all the packs in the game disappeared like store offers did disappear from the game so everything was gone everything was out of the store no one knows why it disappeared for quite a while and then again they brought it back after the tweeting something and they brought it back randomly i don't know if there was that if there was a game changer glitch they were trying to address all i know is what people need to see is how quickly EA can work when something may or may not be wrong because that is what we've noticed. That, that's, that's what kind of sucks, right? It's like a punch in the face. Every year, we want something as simple as like the kickoffs or as simple, well, maybe not as simple, but you get to the corner, as simple as why can't we have another power up or why can't we do this? And we know it's not hard to get power ups because we get them. So it's like, why can't you do them? And then it's like, oh, wait, there's a glitch that may cost us money. Yeah. We're, they sprint back to the office on Christmas break or whatever they do or remote work and get it fixed in minutes an hour, right? It just sucks, but whatever Let's get into the video. Let's show you guys the players. We got Randy Mossy, which you've probably seen throughout me talking here, but 96 overall wide receiver. He can get power up to a 97 He will get 96 speed He'll have all 90 route running He will get 99 spec catch he will be the best wide receiver in the game hands down He takes the best of Dion the best of Calvin, and the best of, like, everyone else, and he puts it all in one sub. The benefit of him is, so first off, right now, for a good wide receiver, for a receiver to be good, he has to have above 90 route running, right? This one gets 99 deep route running. For a receiver to be useful, he has to have at least 94 speed. He will get 96 powered up. For a receiver to have good catching above 90s, right? He's going to get 99 spec, which means he's going to make crazy catches. 99 deep route running, which means he's going to be the best route runner, and he will get 97, 96 speed, but potentially 99 speed if you do have a sprinter, and you have him powered up and chemmed up, right? There is so much potential for this Randy Moss on top of what he already is. Now, here's the thing, though. His power is going to be crazy expensive. Like, I don't even want to know. This is going to be the most expensive, probably, card to be powered up in the whole game. I think the card may, let's say the card even just costs 600, 700K. His power may very well cost an additional 600K to a million coins. Because it's it's a must. Like, it's not like a, it's not like a thinker. Like, it's a must. You have to get... The 96 speed on Randy to make him different, right? Like that's part of the part. That's part of the process. But he will be 97 overall, which will be the highest overall in the game, which is pretty crazy. Um, these 50s, like I remember, like they used to go every few. They would be at 92 for a few weeks, and I felt like at the point where we were moving pretty well, out of nowhere, so I would just boost it up. Now we're at 97 overalls powered up. Like we just came out of nowhere. Considering legends were just ahead too. It's weird. Let's get to the next guy. We have Dion Sanders, guys. Again. One of the other greatest cards ever. Now, the, issue, the thing with Dion, not the issue, the benefit is that he was a legend card first, so his power-up is free and cheap. Go play the solo challenge if you want to get him. Full game, but it only takes like 10 minutes if you chew clock, maybe less. But Dion's power-up will not cost a lot. I already have him, so all you got to do is buy the card. 96 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 93 jumping, 94 uh, play rec, 97 man, 95 zone, 85 press. The beauty of Dion now is that he has a press threshold. You power him up and kept him up with lockdown. He will have 99 man, 99 zone, and 90, uh, 90 press. So he effectively, guys, first off, 97 speed at cornerback. That's crazy. 97 excel, 97 agility. He will have 99 play rack, 99 man, 99 zone. So he's going to be 
the most shut down corner in the entire game. No other corner can get 99 play rec man and zone stock right like that. Like just with the chems. Not to mention, his press will now be in the 90s. So now you can actually press him, and that should be enough, right? Because most cornerbacks with the 90 press can press. They, just, they don't have 99 anyways, right? Which should be usually the next threshold. So that's absolutely insane. This Deion Sanders is the greatest cornerback card in the game. These are the most insane cards I've ever seen at one time. Dion is looking crazy. How many coins? I don't know how, but I'm, I'm going to just go pick them up as well, guys. I, there's no other way around it. Dion's looking so crazy. Randy's looking so crazy. And this Dion, like I said, will be easy to power up, which may make his price a little bit higher, actually. Because you can you either you guys either even powered up ready, you know, in your binder. They only went for a few K anyways. Or you can go play the solo. If not, I urge you to not go buy it, guys. Or if they're going up for if they go for expensive right now, guys, a good a really good method right now would be just go to the legend solos and just start just start playing the Dion one. But let's get to the next one, guys. We have one more card here to go over. Michael Vick, who may be the greatest of the three here. This is the best quarterback in the game, despite maybe abilities. Here's the thing. We've been saying, I've been saying this to you guys all year. The reason that people love pocket passes were for, for two reasons, right? Gunslinger and the fact that they got threshold, they got threshold. And you needed this year with the way the passing is and the way the zones and everything and the man works. You need Gunslinger. And you needed thresholds. The issue is most running quarterbacks didn't get either one. And I was like, okay, guys, if you could do all this damage with Aaron Rodgers and Mahomes and McNair, imagine what you do with like a Vic, right? Once he got his thresholds and everything. Here he is. He has 95 speed, 97 throw power, 91 short, 87 medium, 93 deep, 93 under pressure, 95 throw on the run, and 93 play action. So Vic, powered up in Cam Blob, 96 speed. At quarterback, he will have 99 throw power. He will have like 95 short accuracy, 92 medium, and 94 deep. Because you're gonna put play fake on him. He's gonna get 90, 90 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, and 93 play action. He's going to be the best quarterback in the game. Again, it comes down to abilities, gunslinger, and everything else. But despite all of that, you're going to be able to air the ball out better than almost every quarterback in the game. And then be able to take off faster than any running back in the game. So, Michael Vick's going to be crazy deadly. He's going to be insane now. If I had to rank these, it's tough, right? I think I'd have to go. Michael Vick first. Uh... Then I guess Randy, then Dion, right? Now, Dion is only because it's a cornerback. Cornerbacks can be less noticeable at times. Like, no matter how locky he can be, if the person plays, like, a certain scheme or a certain load thing or you play in a zone right now, or even if you play man, that guy plays, like, a low skip to his back. Press the ball. It could be hard to notice on him throughout the game. He might not make a difference in some of those games. Vic, on the other hand, Vic will make a difference every game, which is why he's first. Randy Moss with that speed and that release and everything else that he's going to be able to do. It will be noticeable no matter what the coverage is. And Dion, Dion will be crazy insane. But there will be, like, let's say out of 10 games, there will be 3 to 4 games you may not notice him. Because you versus a run-heavy team and, he, you know, Dion can't stop the run. Or you versus a guy that only throws to the right side and you have him on the left or vice versa. Or he runs up the middle or he does read options. Either way, there will be games where you may not notice him. So that's why. But pretty much wraps up today's morning video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Peace to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys, join the family. If you guys want to see a Christmas uh, day giveaway, comment down below. Give me some ideas for a Christmas day giveaway. Maybe like a, a Vic, maybe a Ghost of Madden player. I don't really know. A Ghost Pass. Let me know down below. But yeah, pretty much wraps up today's video. If you guys need coins, guys, I urge you go to Mutt Reserve and pick up coins for 30% off. It is such a deal right now, especially like you need these three cards. There's no way around it. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.